I've never done this before. I play this on the right side and I rotate right. I've never done this before. This is my first time, literally. And then I give him that shitty card. And then he takes 41 damage. That's fantastic. <laughs> Priest, big Papa Hearthstone. Bro, playing Priest. Did he not get the Mimo? All right, so do I actually keep, uh, do I keep Turtle Man? I'm thinking Turtle Man on curve is acceptable because it basically means he has less things to do to take it. So like if we play him on six or coin him out, he can't necessarily soul mirror that guy. And my opponent soul mirroring Turtle and then raise deading to make fuck tons of turtles is like the most annoying thing ever. So we're just going to coin Turtle Man, and um, he won't take him, because he's my turtle. Anybody in chat ever own a turtle? If so, they're kind of lame, aren't they? <laughs> like, I've had multiple turtles when I was younger, and um, he was very ferocious. I, I caught a salamander from New York. Listen to this shit, chat. I had a turtle. Had him for a long time. I don't remember his name, but he was a good turtle most of the time. And I went to New York to visit my grandma, and I love to fish, and I caught a salamander. Don't ask me how I got a salamander with a fishing pole or what the fuck happened. Anyway, caught a salamander. Brought the salamander on the airplane with me back to Florida. It was a very important salamander. I felt that this salamander deserved the best life. So I brought him back with me on the plane. I literally held a salamander in my lap on a plane from New York to Florida to get this fucking salamander back. I put him in the fucking thing with my turtle and the turtle fucking bit his legs off. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He was such an asshole. And then I, we had to heal the salamander. I wasn't going to let him die, chat. So I bought salamander healing kit and I healed the salamander back to life because little do people know salamanders can actually grow limbs back. Just kidding. They literally can't, but they can get stubs. So he was a stubby salamander and then he died. Like a year after that. But he actually did pretty well. Surprisingly, he didn't die. The Salamander Recovery Kit did pretty well. This is the strangest story I've ever heard. It's really not that bad. It only gets worse from here, Swaybe. I'm just being honest. That was pretty light. <laughs> it only gets worse from here. It's all downhill from here. If I play cash, I go to seven and then it adds three, which means that my hand is full. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that at all, chat. So I'm just going to press the button. That's what I'm saying, Crease. <laughs> Tickle Rick, that story. Why does Big Papa have to play Priest? I guess Draco was right. Everybody's trying to get their um their their priest fix in before it is a bad class tomorrow. Which, by the way, when priest gets nerfed tomorrow, chat, that's when we play it. When priest becomes the least played class because everybody thinks it's bad, that's when I can play priest because then it I won't be the hated one. Priest is a lovely control class. I just it's so hated. I hate it. But tomorrow we play it. Mario nerf priest yeah the, the, I mean they announced the changes and then we all know whenever they change any card in any class even if it's a good or a bad change well I guess if it's a good change people play it but like if it's a bad change even if it's a singular card people just stop playing the deck they're like oh this is bad now and then they're all just gonna play evolve shaman or uh the the elemental shaman I can promise you tomorrow is going to be filled with elemental shaman absolutely just fucking packed Ladder is going to be a sardine can of shamans. Five months, Mr. Rob D. Yo, Squatty with the five months. Dude, thank you so much. Goose back to you. Thanks. What counters elemental shaman? Um, I want to say control warrior, but I don't want to seem biased. <laughs> Priest does a pretty good job, to be honest. Well, I was thinking I was going to coin the turtle man, but not this time around.
I shouldn't have kept the war cash in my hand either. Rogue? I don't think Rogue counters Shaman. Doomhammer Shaman? What does Rogue do? It's not like in World of Warcraft where they can stealth. <laughs> they just get Doomhammered into oblivion. At least in WoW, I can go vanish into like a cheap shot, into like a fucking backstab, into evasion, and then what are they going to do? They can't do shit. In, World of, in, in Hearthstone, what are you going to do? Make a little floppy fish. Is there any way I can keep my green beard for my sub badge? It's so dope. What do you mean? Your green goes to blue. You're gonna be a. You're gonna be much rarer soon. Blue's cool. Havoc DH has a better chance against Shaman than Vengeance DH, at least in Hearthstone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't want to get soul mirrored. I just know I'm gonna get soul mirrored. Don't do me dirty. Please. For so long, I didn't even know it was a beard. I don't know what the fuck it was. All right. This might... Some guy... Fuck. Why did you have to soul... It's not even a real soul mirror. It's a fake soul mirror. Ah, fuck. It's a fake one. It came off the little scorpion. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, the beard... So, some guy thought it wasn't a beard, but it was a dude with his legs sticking straight up. And then ever th since he said that, it completely ruined it for me. So if you, it, actually I probably shouldn't have said that, because now you guys are not going to see a beard anymore. You're just going to see a dude with his legs sticking straight up. But it's not my fault. That's just how, it, it's a beard, I promise. <laughs> I fucked all of you. You're done. You're done, chat. You're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's seriously not my fault. Want to become famous? Who wants? Who wants to shoot that guy? Anybody? There you go, Azur with the the fucking headshot, baby. That's a good shot, is there? That's a good fuck. That's high DPS, is there? That's some high DPS. All right. If I mutanus, what are the chances that I eat something delicious? Anus? Fucking eat that booty. I mean, eat a card in his hand. That's a pretty good card. Good job, anus. Yet again, dirty as fuck. Proud of you. All right, so how do we kill this priest? We do the new combo we put in the deck. We do the Silas with the, the soul-bound tongue man, and then we slam it. That's the plan, boys. But first, we need lots of armor. My girlfriend asked me what I'm watching, then she read your video title. This is a PG family-friendly stream. Mind Render will break that plan. We all can have dreams, okay? Big Papa wouldn't ruin my dream. PG-13, Rob, get real. I Dude, I am not PG-13. What the fuck's wrong with you? This is family friendly. A wholesome experience for all. <laughs> well, chat, every time I've ever played uh, Kargath and opted to trade it into something... My opponent has stolen it. Luckily, my opponent just recently used their, um... They recently just used their soul mirror, so this should be fine. I'll ask again, do you play any Terran Hunter? I do not. Dude, two gifted subs? What the heck? Squatty, thank you so much. Yo, Noodle got a sub and Reb I got a sub. Rob I got a sub. Dude, thank you so much, Squatty. That's very generous of you, man. Appreciate that, homie. Noodle. I'm still not gonna lie, I miss the old Pog Champ. I just don't think the snake does justice. Like, why is a sneaky snake a Pog Champ? Like, I just, it doesn't have the same feeling. I liked it when they switched between the content creators, though. When the Pog Champ was any creator with a Pog Champ emote and it, like, switched. That was brilliant. Day9 wrote that on Twitter. I think it was Day9. He tagged them. 
But the new snake, I don't know about the snake, man. Not sold on the sneaky snake. Okay. This seems pretty exciting, right? We get more armor. And then to play around their um, pirate lady, because, you know, fuck that pirate lady. We got a hero power. Because if I have nine cards and then they pirate lady and then they make me draw one from my deck and then I draw and then I overdraw a combo piece, I'm gonna cry. I, I don't know why the original Pog Champ, it had something to do with politics, which was stupid. Not stupid that they did a move, but stupid that like it ruined like what was like a, a global emote over something as stupid as politics. Like it was Pog Champ and now it's Sneaky Snake. Not Rube, it's Robbie, but in Croatia, we write it like this, but you can call me whatever you want. I'll call you Robbie. It's just kind of weird because I'm Robbie. Well, I'm Rob, Robert, Robbie. Only my high school friends call me Robbie, though. No one calls me Robbie anymore. I'm Robert. We're Rob, Rob. I'm mostly Rob. I'm only Robert if I'm in trouble. Hard times. Rob, are you planning on some new emotes and animated stuff? I'm not a partner. I'm a budget streamer. But if I ever hit partner... Oh no, I was hoping you didn't top deck that. Oh well. That's kind of sad. But yeah, once I get partner, I'll be able to, um... Yeah, so for more emotes, we need to be a partner. I'm not a partner yet. I've applied. And shot him down. Pew pew. Rob, you streaming from 8 to 10 Eastern tonight? I'll be back. I'm baking salmon, dude. Baking salmon? Oh my god. I love salmon. Sam like, there's two kinds of people in this world. There's tuna people, and then there's salmon people. This isn't this, this is literally what I was talking about. The raise dead into the fucking turtle. Like every game, it's the same thing. It's the same bullshit chat. I cannot stop the bullshit. I was just talking about how they take my sh turtles and they fucking took my turtles. It's bullshit. But anyway, back to the salmon and tuna. So there's a salmon people and then there's the tuna people. I'm a salmon person. I love me some salmon, especially on my sushi. I can just eat it plain. We can't have love both. I mean, you can like both. But do you love? You gotta love one. You can't love both. You have everybody. You, there's a preference here. You cannot like them equally. That doesn't exist. Literally doesn't exist. You think you do, but you don't. You have a preference. And if you disagree with me, you're only doing it to disagree with me. Just like this guy's making turtles. I never thought about it. Well, now we're thinking about it. Well, bear off will stop him from getting armor. Brawl is also uh, an option. Brawl is a 50-50, but we know how my RNG works with 50-50s. It doesn't. So I should take the, the safer play right here. Do try to keep yourself alive. No entry. No entry. <coughs> oh. I don't know what happened. I wasn't sure about that. I was thinking about playing Overlord. Rob, have you ever had spicy crab sushi? Spicy crab? Like crab with a K or crab with a C? But I think I've had spicy crab. It was good. I prefer... I, I like crab with the C. The crab with the K freaks me out because what the fuck is it? It's not crab. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is it? What are you eating? <laughs> it's not crab. <laughs> And then, then in the ocean, there's not crabs with Ks. It's a fish. Then the why is it a crab? Are you? are you sure it's a fish? Because fish starts with F, and crab starts with a C, and this is a crab with a K. <laughs> so, it's got some splaining to do. <laughs> Let's be honest here. 
<laughs> like, let's... <laughs> Somebody's lying. <laughs> crab with a C. Well, that's the good kind of crab. That's the crab we, the, that we can trust. This song's a bop. All right, come on, baby. You know you want to bring back a turtle. You've never not brought back... Actually, it literally has to bring back a turtle. What the fuck am I smoking? There's only one option. Literally could only be a turtle. I'm way less sad. <clears throat> Crab is spelled with a K in the Netherlands, or that's just some propaganda to let so they can sell you fake crab. They tell you it's spelled with a K so they can pump their random fish and charge high prices fake it's not real that's some fucking that's some netherlands propaganda right there they're pumping you that fake crab dude and they're charging premium prices <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they spell it with a K here. It's crab, I promise. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Oh, shit. You guys are making me laugh too much. This is playing. This is Hearthstone. Where's our serious face, chat? We're playing against Big Papa. We're joking around too much. Alright, come on. Top deck shield slam. I'm a great player. I can win. I can win. I can win. Shield slam, baby. Give me that good kush. Fuck. That's not kush at all. Dude, there's 13 cards left. One of them shield slam. Watch, he's gonna mind render me now. I feel like Big Papa could be a little cheater. You know he's gonna mind render me. I feel like Big Papa's up to something. Hmm. Questionable, Papa. You're being questionable, Papa. Hmm. Rob runs the Netherland government. Bro, I would nail I would never sell you crab with a K though. I would give you salmon. I would sell you good salmon. Happy salmon. Just like Giggles making bake sand. But I started early streaming today, so I might get off early. I'm not sure because I, I wanted to stream tomorrow with the update, but I gotta do YouTube tomorrow. Wow, this is just great, chat. This is just really good. We'll draw shield slams eventually, right? We'll get there soon, chat. 11 cards, two of them win me the game. What about Ahi Tuna? The fresh stuff that isn't amazing. Ahi Tuna's good. I like seared Ahi Tuna. I like fish in general. I just like salmon more than tuna. But like, tuna's good too. Tuna's great. I love tuna. But I love salmon. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just something that's like a big chunk of salmon. There's just something different about it, man. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> how, how do I not draw a shield slam? I might actually play wand makers to help get shield slam. Damn it, with that much armor, you should run Silas and Ash Tongue win con. Bro, are you smoking good kush, my bro? Did you just fucking say that with the hand that I have and what I've been talking about for five turns now? Bro, how high are you? Are you fucking baked out of your mind? Bro, he's, he's more baked than your salmon. Are you fucking kidding me? You are fucking cushed out of your fucking mind, sir. Smothered and covered like those waffle house house browns. No. 
like, what the fuck do I do to this? This is terrible. This is a tragedy. This is a global disaster. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Am I supposed to brule? Rank or minefield? I just don't think that's the way. All right, I'm going to brawl. And then the taunt minion's going to die. Yes. And then we get to take out the armor. Okay. I didn't notice it sooner. You don't take the Chris. I'm disappointed. I have visuals of these cards. I have. So physically we can see it. I've been vocal vocalizing the combo for like five turns. I've been talking about it. I, I can't do any more than that. But that's okay. I'm glad we're on the same page now. I wonder. All in it. Heather. <laughs> All right. Actually, do I just play the Anchorman or I just go Minefield and Hero Power? Because I don't want to tell him. I don't want to pretend. I don't want him to think that I'm drawing for a combo. I just want him to think I don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, that is not a combination of cards I play in this deck. Because if I go Stone Maul and I trade to draw, he knows something's up. Even though I want to draw, I do not think it is correct. Oh, thank God. All right, I've never done this combo before, chat. So let's not fuck it up. All right, we're not going to fuck it up. So we play this card, right? Like, that's just what we do. I've never done this before. And then I play this on the right side and I rotate right. Right? I've never done this before. This is my first time, literally. So we rotate right. And then I give him that shitty card. And then he takes 41 damage. That's fantastic. That's great. We took out Big Papa with a single strike. Who's Big Papa now? Huh? Priesty boy? Huh? How do you not know this combo? I know of the combo. I just literally did it. But I've never actually done it. It's like sex. <laughs> I've heard of it, but it's never happened. I play Hearthstone for heaven's sake. So, it, it you know what I mean? So I just wanted to make sure it was right. That was great. Just got back from the gym. Nice. What'd you work out today? I did like a light bicep workout and shoulder workout. And I told myself that I was going to do workouts during the stream so like every two games i was gonna do like a like a small workout while uh in between games yeah that hasn't happened at all i'm kind of being lazy right now it probably has something to do with i haven't eaten last time i ate was like at nine o'clock in the morning i forgot to eat on my break <sighs> Back and buys. Ooh, it's a good day. Back was my favorite thing to work out. I loved working out my back. I absolutely loved it. Fucking rows and then uh, pull downs. Oh my god. Rows were probably my favorite workout. I loved rows. But the seated rows, like on the machine. Those were happy.
Control versus Control 2015 vibes. Is he actually Control? Yeah, he's playing fucking Tentacle Monster. All right, well, chat, we've teched against this. We literally have teched for this. Believe it or not. I will beat this warrior. He is Magni, though. Fuck. Magni's pretty intense. All right, well, he's already fucking up. He already is making mistakes, chat. Another 20 minute incoming. I actually don't mind the control warrior mirrors. I used to love these. I still don't mind control warrior mirrors. And the reason being is because every card in his deck, I know most of them. And um, they do what they say they're going to do, which is pretty cool. No draw allowed. Well, it depends. There's two way to play. There's two ways to play this matchup out. One of them is you draw and then you clear and you push. Uh, another one is you play like me. And I play this matchup very slowly because I'm a control warrior. Kind of the purpose. Like the games that I used to love was back in the day when you had to fucking um you had to sh shield slam your own you had to Tharzan your Cthune you had to Tharzan your own Cthune so you could play Cthune to shield slam your own Cthune so your opponent wouldn't sell Vanus and take your Cthune so your Doombringer would bring it back. What now? So then you would tech in the um You'd have to tech in the um the mind the three mana three three that transforms a minion. So then you would if you didn't have the Sylvanas to steal it, you'd have to tinker it into like a squirrel or a devil sower so they wouldn't be able to get it back. I mean that shit was lit. I know this seems weird, chat. I want to guarantee the armor. I don't want him shield slamming this, and I don't want him coursing it. Alright, now that we've seen Eye of Cthulhu, we can play Bulwark. So normally, you wouldn't play Eye of Cthulhu until you see your opponent's Bulwark. He opted to not really give a shit about that, so... This gives us more time. All right. Uh, this is where this is where we have Silas Dark Moon. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Silas right now, so I have to just wait patiently. This really sucks, Chat. So the reason I don't run Rattle Gore in this deck, but I do run Silas, and I was basically gonna take his Rattle Gore with Silas. That was my win con. Because I told you a level of concern. All right, so we're going to rotate to the right. Right? So same, exact same plan as last time. So Ash Tongue, rotate to the right. Left? Are you smoking that good kush? Actually, I could have played armor vendor for more. No? What is no? Yup. Do you understand? Oh my god, is he gonna do it back to me? <laughs> that is actually hilarious. Now I lose. What are the chances? Why do you run Rattle Gore and Silas? That's so unfortunate, chat.
Cthune can still win you the game? No. I have no way to deal with, um... That. It's gonna be hard to kill a fully-fledged Rattlegore. <sighs> I can't believe he actually runs Silas. It's already a 7-7. Seven, seven. You good? Do you not rem I have to use cards. Do you see how many cards he has? I, it's gonna take every card in my hand to get this thing to normal. It's just a waste of resources. I have to win this game somehow, and those are with resources. I'll try, but... It was just unfortunate. All right, our best draw is uh, the Stone Mall. I can take the hit. Isn't Rattlegore kind of broken? Uh, against my deck, yes. Most decks, no. Most decks, you, it's very, very easy to deal with Rattlegore. He's not a hard card to kill at, by any means. Like, against Mage, he gets Devolving Missiled. Against Shaman, he gets Devolving Missiled or Hexed. Um, he's good against Warlock. He's bad against Priest. You literally never play him against Priest, ever. You just don't play the card at all. Um, Rogue Blackjack stunners him. What other deck? Uh, Paladin... Pal he's good against Paladin, but Paladin's not popular anymore. Um, he's decent against a Demon Hunter, but most of the time, like, you're dead before you get to even play him. Alright, I can't draw anymore, man. I've, I've, I've caught back up and draw. Priest tries yoinking. Yeah, Priest can get him through. Priest can take your Rattle Gore through the, uh, the... Their South Seas, which is really bad, which is why I stopped playing them, to be honest. I just kept getting South Seed. Still ahead in fatigue somehow. I don't know how we killed a fully fledged Rattlegore. I have no fucking clue. And I used to know. Why no anus? Because I don't want to play cards. So my opponent, so in the control matchup, when your opponent has nine cards in their hand and they're a reactive class, they have to play stuff inefficiently that they would normally not play. So as the other person with less cards, you don't want to use your less cards to play in your opponent's cards because they have to they have more resources than you. So right now I need him to play inefficiently so I can catch back up. So we might see him just like use brawls or minefields or like see, he's just wasting stuff because I'm not doing anything. I'm glad he did exactly what I just thought he would do, so it makes it look like I'm smart, but I'm actually not smart. All right, Rob, I got to go to sleep. See you later. Have a great stream. Goodbye, chat. Yo, later, Gator. Hanging out. Have a good rest of y'all evening. And then when we do play the Mutanus, we'll eat his prime. You gonna mill? All right, we're back up to a f almost a full hand, so I can um I can anus now, and I'll either kill his prime or I'll kill Nazoth. It's 
tower fang's very good. So this will probably get primed, but that's okay. You know what I could have done? I could have waited to Anus, because he already Anus to me. I could have waited for him to complete Cthune. I could have actually just waited for C Cthune completion there. Look at look at him securing the armor. I should win this. I can take Don't know how, but theoretically. I'm four ahead of him in fatigue. Don't like this. I probably shouldn't have played that, but it's all right. Because now he's going to play his prime. Shield slammed it? Okay. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to play Bulwark yet. Fuck, I forgot Bulwark can soak uh, fatigue. Damn it, I'm really silly. I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited on Bulwark. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have waited till like five fatigue and then play Bulwark. Yeah, that was, that was a very big waste. That was a huge mistake I just made. The reason I'm not playing Heart of Cthune chat is because if he runs South Sea, he can take my Cthune and then kill me with it. But if I wait till he's in fatigue zone and he plays South Sea, I can kill him. I can't finish it yet, boys. I have to wait for him to be under 30. So when he South Seas my Cthune out of my deck, I can play it and he dies. I fucked up with Bulwark, though. <clears throat> Alright, I can do it next turn, right? Because then he takes eight. Alright, let me just do the math real quick to make sure. So he takes 8, he goes down to 16, and then 16 and 19. No, I have to wait one more turn. Alright, I do it next turn. Now I win. Now I win.
All right, let's see if he south sees. Let's see if all of this was worth it for the South Sea. Let's see if he figured it out. All right, I win. Does it go through the five damage? Yeah, because it's 30 plus the five plus the 10 fatigue. So he's at exactly 30 life. The South Sea would be five and then the fatigue is 10. The only mistake there I made was playing the Bulwark um, at one fatigue. I was supposed to play the Bulwark at four fatigue. So then it would do four, five, six into seven. And then I would still be um, higher. Bro, we made it through his fucking rattle gore. We pumped through a 9 9 rattle gore. That's insane, bro. This game was nuts. Even though I did make a couple misplays there at the end, this game was nuts. The control. Whoa, yeah.